Hello everyone, what is up? My name is Michael and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about some unpopular bookish opinions that I have. The first unpopular bookish opinion I have is that The Cruel Prince was actual trash. The book community went really crazy over this book and I honestly don't understand all the hype. I could only get halfway through the book just because I didn't care for any of the characters, I couldn't connect with them. First of all, there is the obvious factor that Cardin is abusive to literally everyone. Though I understand that he himself was abused, that doesn't excuse his behavior toward other people in the book, particularly Jude. And just the fact that later there's a romance between Jude and Cardin, or at least that's what I hear, I just have a problem with that and the fact that that is being marketed as okay to teenagers. But besides that, I also had a really hard time connecting with Jude, even though she has been stolen away from like the mortal world. You would think that she would really hate the Fae, but it turns out that's not the case at all and all she wants is to be like them. She's willing to go to whatever means to prove herself to the Fae. That was just really hard for me to believe considering all that the Fae have put her through. Though I only read half of the book, I just thought it was really depressing and something that was not for me. The second unpopular opinion I have is that the new adult genre really needs to be a thing. First of all, a lot of young adult books right now have older main characters as it is. And actually, though young adult books are marketed towards teenagers, they also have a really big audience of people who are in their 20s or college age like myself. And a lot of the times when I'm reading young adult, I find myself age upping the characters in my mind. Like imagining them older than they are and I know a lot of other people who do this as well so I really don't understand why publishers don't think that this genre would sell. Going along with that I know there are a couple of young adult books such as Fangirl who kind of deal with main characters going from high school to college which is really cool to read about and I definitely would like some more stories about um, main characters trying to adjust to college and kind of find their place in the world as they transition from being a teen to an adult. Moving right along the third opinion I have is that the Mortal Instruments series needs to end. I'm really sorry, I'm probably gonna get some backlash for that. So as I've said in some videos before, I did really enjoy the Infernal Devices trilogy, but as for the Mortal Instruments, I don't really care for those books. I think Cassandra Clare is a really talented writer and that she is great at world building. At least in my opinion though, I just feel like she's already written so many books in the Shadowhunter world that I would really like to see her branch out and write something different, which I know that she is working on some new things, but at the same time, we still see the Mortal Instrument series going. I would just like to see something new from her. Number four on my list of opinions is that I think it's time to stop writing books about the Fae. Apparently, I guess the Fae right now are kind of like the way vampires were in the early 2000s. The Fae are everywhere right now. For me personally, I have a hard time getting into books with the Fae. For some reason, I just don't like it. But I mean, I also didn't hop on the vampire train when it was like a really big thing in all the books. I admit that I haven't even read Twilight yet, so... <laughs> but hey, if you like the Fae and if you like vampires, then that's totally okay. I just don't think it's for me. Except the Vampire Diaries. Gotta love Damon and Stefan. The fifth thing I want to talk about is that I think YA fantasy books are getting way too repetitive. Like, I swear, every time I pick up a new fantasy, it's like I'm reading the same story, just like slightly changed. It is always about a girl who is either a lost princess or they start off as like this poor girl who discovers they have magical power and then somehow they end up rising to power and leading this revolution. They kind of all follow this very similar structure which I kind of understand in the sense that, you know, sticking to familiar plot points and tropes can be good for marketing a book and making sure that people like it. But at the same time, I just would really like to see a different story and something that's very different than what we already have right now. For instance, I think The Ember in the Ashes is a great example of a fantasy that is different for me at least, it was very unique and unpredictable and just a lot of fun to read. The seventh thing I want to talk about is probably going to be a little bit controversial. I know. But I think it's great that we're trying to be more inclusive of people and give them a voice in the books that we write. But at the same time, when it comes to picking which books we're going to publish, I think it's really important to remember that diversity in itself doesn't make a good book. Yes, it's a great thing to have, but when I read a book, I'm not really paying attention to that as much as I'm paying attention to the plot and whether the writing is actually good. And there can absolutely be great diverse books that have amazing plots and amazing characters and great writing. Also, I think the YA community can be a little too critical when it comes to critiquing authors and the way that they wrote certain diverse characters. I mean, at the end of the day, 
Authors literally cannot please everyone. They can do their best and they can certainly try to make sure that they have the most accurate representation of that point of view that they're trying to tell. But at the same time, they can only do their best though. Okay, so the last thing that I forgot to mention is that I also think it would be really cool if we could add more guys as YA protagonists. I think we already have a wide variety of books um, who have girls as the main leads, but I also think maybe more guys would read books if there were more books with guy main characters. I would just really love to see more books like that. I don't know if it's maybe just because there are more female writers right now in YA and it might be more difficult to get into a guy's perspective and their point of view. In the book that I'm writing right now, I'm writing two guy point of views, so sometimes it can be hard to like actually think of what a guy would be thinking realistically, but I think it's important that we feature more guys in our books. Anyway, I think that's going to be all for today. I really appreciate you guys watching, and if you like this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on social media at Michael underscore Faith on Twitter and at Michael Faith on Instagram. My bookstagram is also at MFaithBooks, and I'll see you next time with another video. Pshh.